I'm Lisa Pitts, and you're at my lovely home in Chesapeake, Virginia. This was not the house that I originally was looking at. I was really looking at a house on the oceanfront. I had a builder and everything, and I was gonna build my dream house on the water. So my pastor, it was like, my house has been for sale for about a year. You wanna look at it? And I'm like, no, you know, I wanna live at the beach. So I came to look at their house, and I just fell in love with it. I just fell in love with it. Um, the pier on the water, just the, the quietness, the serenity, I just, it was better than the beach. So I ended up purchasing the house. And this is like a family home, because um, I have a large family, and I have, all my kids are grown, so everybody comes back here and they hang out. So this is like the hangout. Thanksgiving, we're already playing Thanksgiving. Fourth of July, we have this huge party here, and it was, it's just like a big family home. I guess because we have the water. You know, everybody chooses my house to hang out, hang out at. So, you know, I just, de then I de told my mom, this house is a family house. No matter if I'm on the West Coast or I'm here or wherever I'm at, you guys know you can always get in. This is the family house. I started um, Steadfast Medical Staffing as a single mom back in 2005. And I'm a nurse, been a nurse for 20 years. And I started the company because of the shortage. We're in a major critical healthcare shortage. Um, there's nobody to take care of you, no nurses, no CNAs, nurses, LPNs, RNs, it's a mad shortage. So they call us, we're a staffing registry. Everybody comes and register to work with us and the facilities call us for staff. And we've been blessed, we have a lot of staff, a lot of staff to meet the needs of these facilities. I travel a lot and I shop a lot at high-end stores, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and I just said I need a place that is sacred for my high-end clothes and even my everyday clothes, but mostly for my high-end purses and my fur coats and my clothes and just my high-end stuff. So when I shop, I can go and put my stuff in there and make it look real pretty. Tell me what that looks like. That looks like a closet factory closet. <laughs> That's what that looks like. So this job, the entire thing was completely all, uh, was all painted and all of the doors and drawers were glazed. So normally with a lot of jobs we do, there most of them are melamine, some of them will have painted edges on the front and a lot of times they will have painted trim but nothing to this extent. With everything being painted the way it is and everything being glazed, um, there's a lot more care that has to be used in, the, um, in loading the material into the house so it takes a little bit longer to do. You just have to be a lot more careful when you're handling everything as far as putting it together. The measurements were pretty on point, no problems, and when measurements is on point, literally things go up as fast as this. So the first step on this side of the unit, I'm going to actually have to do a piece of flat trim, which will be the first, um, the first piece that goes up, and then I'll have to build a box in the corner so that we can tie the ornamental crown into the um, standard crown that came in the room. So I'm getting ready to, to attach the corbels to um, this build-up piece and it'll, it'll basically cap off the fluted column that I'll be putting on and the flat trim and the crown will wrap around the top of it to give it um, a really nice look of a big thick column on either end of this um, closet. So the corbels are mounted on another block. Um, this, this block on the back actually allows the flat trim to run into it as well as the flute to run up underneath and just create a nice seam. So in order to get the two different types of crown to be able to meet in the corners, it'd be impossible just to miter them like normal and, and get them to meet up. So I actually have to build a box that will allow each piece of crown to die into it flat. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. So I used, uh, I actually just used the same material I used for the baseboard. And basically I just cut um, two pieces wide enough to let the crown die into it. And then I just make a false little bottom piece out of another piece of base material and then uh, just nail it all together and attach it to the wall. Sometimes we'll have nine foot material but it just depends on basically usually it's determined off what the height of the job is because if it's like an eight foot panels like these are they won't cut nine foot material um, but if they already have nine foot sheet on there then they'll go ahead and cut the trim out of that so it's kind of depends. If we can do one piece all the way across it keeps us from having to put a splice in it so there's less um, 
there's less gaps that we have to fill and, and it just you know gives it a better look just a solid all the way across with the ornamental crown and stuff you're where you cut it has to be very precise and so when you're cutting a miter on an outside corner the piece right next to it has to have it basically got to pick up where that piece left off so you really have to be precise on where you're cutting and just um, take take a little more time when they glaze the trim and it has those accents coming through, it can be darker and lighter in places, just like when you're doing um, stained wood. The stain doesn't always take to each piece of wood the exact same, so when you cut stuff when you're lining it up, especially in a long run like that, you just have to pay attention to um, the color of, you know, the, of the material, where it leaves off. So when you pick a new board, it closely matches it just so that seam disappears as much as possible. All right, so I've done all the crown, all the base, all the other trim is done. So the final piece is the flute, um, which will go right here on the front of this cabinet. Everything on this job went went very smoothly. Um, there was no uh, major issues. Everything fit. All Tamara's measurements were really good. The um, the paint job that was done on it was all um, was very very good. I had very little touch up to do, so it all went very smoothly. I started working for Closet Factory uh, around August 2017. Uh, I was always I was in school most of the time for healthcare management playing ball, but I end up finding out that I was having a baby girl pretty soon, and I I wanted to move on to find something other than school and restaurant life of working, so I end up my, one of my cousins he worked for the inside the shop at the closet factory, and he got me the job and I end up working as help and just. Literally, literally just unloading the van, trying to help the installers get out. Because these days, you can we report to work every day at seven. Sometimes you might not get out of here until seven, eight o'clock, all depending on the job. Um, but I, I'm on my way to moving up to installer pretty soon, so that's pretty cool. I've been waiting to I've been waiting for those news for a long time. Uh, also, designed my first closet. Um, so hopefully in the next two weeks I'll be able to start putting that together to actually see my closet coat go from paper to actual real life. So. More from the archives. Enjoy the Closet Factory flashback. We're at the Thomas's residence today. Um, we're here to see the final installation. It's actually been a few weeks since we were here doing the installation. So we're gonna see how everything turned out and hopefully they're very happy with everything. Let's find out. Look what we've done with the closet. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. We have filled the closet completely. Wow, yes you yeah. have. We were able to get everything in here from the other place, so that so that was much really better good. than the wire rack that was in oh, there. Oh yeah, you wouldn't be able to fit everything in there. Oh, no, yeah. we wouldn't. Have. Right. So the so two um, different uh, folds and right. everything. Yeah, that worked out real nice. And then for the longer right. dresses uh -huh. or suits. Yeah. yeah. You want to go see the rest of the bedroom? I sure do. I okay. can't wait. Come over here, so you can see all. My, some of my stuff in <laughs> one of my favorite I see you got a new areas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But what's so nice about these knobs you suggested is that I can hang my purses or other things on it. But look, I've got all my shoes in here, and then my arts and crafty stuff, and you can see where I have folders and stuff up there. Nice. And so it's worked out. I was doing shoe really. shopping to see if there's anything I wanted to take with me. <laughs> but what was so nice, we see we could range the shelves any way right. we wanted. And, uh, you had jewelry. Did you have jewelry inserts in here, or was it? Yeah. Oh, this is oh, my wow. jewelry drawer. <laughs> Bowling uh, shop. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> but but you have the little jewelry drawer that uh, slides out. And then I have arts and crafty stuff sheet. Yeah. But here's my jewelry drawer that. Uh, so do you have to call Jim every time you want something from? Up I here? can reach these. <laughs> I can reach those. Way up there is. Uh, um, yeah. I can get my little step ladder. <laughs> yeah. Very okay. Nice. 
And, and also, we really like the higher dresser top. Uh, most people have it standard 30 yeah. inch, but uh, this, you know, just really works well because you don't have to stoop over. Uh, and of course, you you could have made it any height. We just finally arrived at this as being the most uh, functional for yeah, us. Certainly works and, well for you. Oh yes. Well, and and the fact that the drawers just slide so nicely and easily. And uh, I know that even though we don't have them fully loaded, you can put a hundred pounds of, <laughs> uh, of stuff in, least, in each one yeah. of them, but uh, it really works nice. And of course, th this is uh, Ed Earl's this way, and all, this is my all stuff. Of all of this yeah. is mine. Yeah, this is my stuff okay. right here, right? <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what That we, makes sense, that sounds right, about right, right? But uh, you know, even, even the bottom drawers are easy to uh, gain access to. And, I've uh, got all my uh, storage up in here. Of, of course, again, the I love the sliding smaller drawer uh, because there's a lot of things that if you put them in one of these, it's wasted space. Uh, and then uh, my uh, shoes, which are bigger than most. <laughs> the It really worked out well that the fact that this offset here was not as deep as the dresser, mm -hmm. but for shoes you don't really need the uh, the, the storage depth that you right. normally would for uh, a regular size uh, closet right. area. And I think it adds a little bit more interest to it. Oh, oh yeah, it broke up this you know the solid line there, and uh, going all the way to the ceiling is really nice because some of the things that you don't use very often, right. you don't want to take the functional mm -hmm. uh, and daily space up with something that you don't use but maybe once or twice a year. Right. So that that worked out really nicely. We didn't have to downsize our stuff. We downsized our furniture and other things mm -hmm. but not the things that, that, uh, that we wanted to bring with us. Uh, I, I really still like and a lot of people comment on how nicely it's trimmed up at the top. Right. It, it just looks like a, a you know a, a really really nice piece of furniture. You want to talk about this one here? That was our big challenge. Yeah, sure. I know we wanted a mirror both sides like we did in the other unit, yeah. but I think it worked out pretty good. Yeah. We now we still have access to the, was it eight HVAC that's uh, yeah, in there? Yeah, HVAC. So you yeah. still have access to that, and that's on wheels, so you'll be able to pull it yeah. in that when you need to. Um, I think it looks good. You know, it's real easy when the uh, maintenance crew comes in and right. wants to change the filters. They can just roll this thing out. Yeah, and. Just turn uh, it turn it and, and, uh, and do it. So. Yeah, and we still were able to, to yeah. somewhat balance yeah. the side, so it worked out uh, good. Okay. Okay, so, let's go see the office. Right, wait, do, you remember, do you remember when we did the last installation at your other place that was like this? Yes, yes. Well, did I tell you what Juan did to me? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, tell me. When he was doing the installation, I got a picture from him and he was down on his knees holding something up here and trying to reach the top and he sent me the picture said, did you mean to make these drawers this high? The client isn't going to be able to reach them. And it really looked like he was standing up in front of them. Right, right. <laughs> he got me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he got me pretty good. I fell yeah. for it. <laughs> well, and, and I think that mere fact just sort of points out that y'all can make the height any, yeah. any uh, wh whatever one wants. And that just really, uh, you know, works out nicely. And I like the color top you chose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it gives some dimension to it. And uh, yeah. a lot of people that have seen this stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. Love it. I've so, used this color several times since. Yeah. Well, good. Okay, good. When you yeah. hear the name Closet Factory, all you think they do are closets. That's uh, not right. No, they can no. do anything. Yeah. We're thrilled. I highly recommend it. I'm thrilled. I okay. Do. So the Thomases are very happy. They know what they want. They're happy with the product. Um, they know what to expect. So, yeah, they're very happy, and I'm off to the next project. Till next time. <laughs>
Here you got a new is. chandelier. Yes, the closet for the queen. Yes, it is. I know, isn't it beautiful? It is just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Really it really is. Well, I like your blessed sign. Oh, I know, it's beautiful. And that's what I like about it. I like the molding and the trim work and the woodwork. I love it. I just love this closet. How about the paint job? Can paint you believe job this is good. paint? I can't believe it. This is so smooth. And you want to know something interesting? You see this glazing mm -hmm. that's going around the frame of the doors right, where it's dark? Right. Glazing is a process that's very, very involved. So I was at a client's house today and she was she was showing me the kitchen cabinetry she has in her pool house. It's not really glazed. Wow. It appears as though the person took a Sharpie and drew in all these crevices. Oh my God. It is not a glazed job. Well, this, this is not a Sharpie, true, I promise no, you. <laughs> this is true glazing. True, beautiful glazing. Yeah. So tell me about your house manager is going to fill in the spaces. He's for filling you. in because you know I have two closets in the master bedroom. So everything is, everything really high end. And my everyday clothes are coming over here. She just want to organize this closet, you know, like the purse, the shoes. So I guess she's going to have all these shoes. Look the way she put the shoes in there. Isn't that wonderful? I love it really it. is. Well, you wanted yeah. an accessories closet, yeah, too. Yeah, I did. I did. You know, this is a closet, you know, I was telling you can't use any kind of hangers. It has to be the velvet hangers. Mm -hmm. And I was going to use this part right here to put all my St. John's, my suits and everything. Um, but I'm doing business. But I just love it. I really do. What about this countertop? Oh, God, this countertop. I don't want anything up here. <laughs> I don't want nothing on the countertop. Listen, I'm it's just so blessed. It's solid stained wood. It. Yes, it's absolutely gorge. And I noticed that you didn't put any outlets or anything in the island, so you're not going to use it as a charging station no, or anything like no, that. No, no, it's too. It's, oh, this is a queen's closet. You may not charge your phone up here. Don't be mad. <laughs> when you come in here, it's no business. No business. I'm coming in here to pick up my clothes, what I'm going to wear, or if I'm packing, what I'm taking on the West Coast with me. What about the closet over here? This is the closet for all the high-end purses. You got your Louis Vuitton, your Chanel bags, your um, Berman bags. So I'm gonna have all my high-end bags in here. And what about the one behind you? The one behind me, I think I'm gonna end up having like my some everyday clothes in here, business, not high-end business, like just everyday office clothes in here. Okay. And eventually, um, we're, we're talking to the contractor, thinking about taking this out and making this a walk-in closet from the master bedroom and sealing that off. So putting a doorway putting a through doorway. there? Mm -hmm. We kind of talked about that before we yeah. installed, right? but nobody could do it fast nobody enough Nobody can do you. it quick enough for me because I like stuff done quick, 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 quick. I know. That's why you were so <laughs> That's happy. That's why I chose you. That That's why I chose you. Yeah. It was like a week. I'm like, yeah. So, but I'm still happy. It may not never happen. We may not do that. I don't even care at this point. I got my closet. I'm happy. So you like all the fluted columns? I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And the corbels? Yes. And we have rosettes down here on yes, the end. Yes, I love it. I love it. What about it. all these drawers? Oh, just, I don't know. I was telling my uh, manager, what are we going to do with all these drawers? I'm going to put stuff in them. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff, though. <laughs> have you actually opened them up to see how, yes. how smooth beautiful. they roll? They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. And then what about the cabinet down here? So I was going to put like, like I've had boxes of stuff, like I have boxes of belts, um, scarves, some of my little hats that I have, mm -hmm. like my winter hats, like real, you know, when I'm dressing up, I might put a hat down at the bottom. I think some hats can go down here. Oh, scarves. Cute. There's so much. I have so much room. I don't even know where I'm going to put everything. I have so much room. Well, you know, if you ever want to add a jewelry insert. That's what I was going to ask you about. Yeah, we can always put a jewelry yeah, insert. Yeah, we're going to have to. You know, because I need something for the jury. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Okay. We can do, we've got a whole bunch of styles. We've also got sunglasses inserts. I just need more jewelry inserts. And I was thinking about adding just like the velvet in here. Yeah. Yeah, and you the, can do that. And the first top ones, the three top. Yeah. You know you have a valet rod here. Yeah, I have right? a rod. My sister said, what is this? I said, when I'm getting dressed in the morning, I don't know what I want to wear. I'll put them all up here. 
or when you're packing. Decide, or when I'm packing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is just the open, and I like this. You know, this can be open. It's open for different clothes. You know, suits. I would put a lot of suits in there for work. Yeah. I know this is such a beautiful place. I know it is. It really is. So in this closet over here, we didn't come over here. So this one, um, right here. Now this is for another one for the suits. So I would put like high-end suits in here because this is the same thing as this one. Mm -hmm. so this one, one right here is for the fur coats. Yes. And I'll put my fur coats in here. It's a long closet. And you got hats. I can put hats up there. Oh, you can do that. Absolutely. We have a lot of space, a lot of space. And then here, um, shoes again. What do you think? Shoes again? Shoes would be great. Boots. Shoes, boots, shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Yeah, absolutely. It's just a lot of fun. And it's adjustable. So oh, yeah. You know, you can put then you've got, yeah, and then you've got your space up here mm -hmm. on either side, space above the cat, the closet. You need a sign that says the queen. I know, the queen, like the that. closet for the queen. Yes. Yes, and then we got the chandelier that just makes the whole closet go, oh. It really does. That yeah. other light fixture you had in here. I know, I moved that into my office in the house. I need that ceiling fan. So this was like, I couldn't find a small enough chandelier. And I said, I've got to find a chandelier for that closet. That's just perfect, perfect. Not too big, not too small. No, it's beautiful. And when it's turning on, it just, it's, it's, it's exactly what it's you need in here. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what else you're going to do to my house. Let me tell you the some money. of the behind the scenes stuff that went on to make yeah. this happen. <laughs> we had one meeting that lasted four hours just making sure that all of your trims wow. were exactly what you were expecting from wow. the catalog. Wow. So that was a four hour meeting. Wow. We, chose a second company to do the painting and the glazing because we didn't think the first company was going to deliver the product that we thought this job required. Wow. So two painting wow. companies. The countertop hand stained, hand sanded, hand stained. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. To match the exact color that you said you wanted it to be. I mean this, there were a lot of hands involved in this project. Wow. And it was a labor of love for everybody. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were really excited about this job. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, dear. I appreciate it. Thank I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. I would most definitely recommend Closet Factory to everyone. I think the job was very professional. Um, I got the product that I was looking for the first time, and I'm a perfectionist, so that's really hard to work with me because I want everything right. So I was just pleased. I didn't have any issue. I didn't have any complaints. And usually I do, but I didn't. So that's, that's grade A right there, grade A. You know, I post on Facebook my closet. Well, the manager did at the house. She posts the closet on Facebook. She got like 115 likes. And everybody wants to know, where did you get that closet? Where did your sister get that closet from? So people are asking. Closet for the queen from the closet factory.